hello dear viewers uh, welcome to yet another episode of our youtube tutorial videos so in this particular tutorial video, video today i'm going to take you through how you can use the detail tool in order to uh, present reference for saved views and also in case of any uh, finer detail that you use to, may you uh, want to add to a particular uh, profile area in a drawing so that you can be able to uh, give uh, comprehensive uh, details to it and also if you can be able to add some ad uh, some dimension or some uh, missing information to a particular design so before we proceed I will wish to ask you to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, so that you may not miss any of our coming tutorial videos that we'll be putting up in this uh, particular platform so to begin us off uh, i have a particular drawing here and i just want to take uh, one area in the whole design so that i'll be able to uh, detail it so my preference is usually on uh, the the sections or the elevations uh, because for floor plans it may it may be uh, more ambiguous or uh, very difficult to understand at times but once you use the elevation it becomes more apparent so for me I'll be able to uh, first activate the detail tool and that can be done by two ways one you can just go to the documentation uh, tab just scroll down and then you can locate the, the detail tool down here and another way is also go to the uh, to the document uh, a tab, go to documentation tools, and then you scroll down to the detail. You still find it there. So either way can work. So once that is done, I'll click on it. Then I'll go to the uh, can choose either elevation, can choose the north. Uh, or let me see which one is more. Um, okay 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 let me use the the south elevation i think the south elevation looks more uh, presentable so what i'll do is simply just to drag my mouse over the area that i wish to have the details so for example i'll simply drag it along this section that has a column and part of the window so once i've uh, made a lot of uh, judgment to it and ensure that this is the place I want to have the details I'll just release it just release it click on it and then click outside double click and you will find uh, a marker there uh, labeled uh, uh, D02 so the next thing that I'll do is uh, that you will go back to the uh, the pop-up navigator and then you will click on it then you will locate uh, the d02 under the details uh, go to d02 and you'll find it then you can uh, right click and open it then there we have our uh, detail that we wish to to uh, give more attention to so in case you wish to have uh, let me see something like uh, you can use a documentation tool maybe you want to dimension it so what I can do is just uh, click on the first part uh, click on the next then I double click outside and that is how I want to have the dimension so that is how the detail tool will help you to do some of these things yeah then there is also another way you wish to add a text. Uh, you wish to add a text, so you can come here and say text. You can just decide and have uh, let's maybe say top. Okay. Escape that is the top. Yeah, so that is how you can be able to use uh, the detail tool, and also remember that it also helps you to uh, 
make references to uh, already saved views so thank you for your time please uh, watch out for more of our videos kindly comment on anything that you wish to know or any of uh, your perceptions about the video and don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you and see you once again in the next tutorial video